Hey guys, this is Z, and today I'm going to take a look at something rather big. In fact, it's so big that this IKEA desk, which is one of the biggest ones that they sell, is uh, tiny compared to what I'm about to put on top of it. Before I do that, let me just give you a little bit of a background. So far, I've been using two LG displays, a dual setup for my working area. And recently, LG came out with a new display that measures 42 and a half, almost 43 inches in diagonal. I decided to replace my dual setup and purchase this new LG screen, but I wasn't sure if I'm gonna be making the right choice. I've had this question in my mind, how big is too big? Hopefully with this video, I'm gonna help you make that decision for yourself and answer some of your questions. So let's get started. So this is the display in question, the LG 43UD79 that measures 42 and a half inches. This is a 4K panel that retails at around $700. It has four HDMI ports on the back, two of them are HDMI 2.0, delivering 60 frames per second, and two of them are delivering 30 frames per second. You also have a USB Type-C port, headphone jack port, the display is factory calibrated, and it has built-in speakers. Oh, by the way, you also get remote control in the package. Now, when I ordered this display online, I got a phone call from the company that is uh, selling it here. And <laughs> they asked me a very interesting question. Uh, they were like, sir, we just wanted to confirm the order. And we wanted to ask you if you realize that this is in fact a monitor and not a TV. I was like, yeah, I know. And then they replied, well, we had a few cases where people are purchasing this display and they're returning it back to us because they don't realize in fact, how big it is. I was like, that's okay, don't worry. I'm replacing a dual monitor setup, so that should be fine. And indeed, it's been a week since I've been using it, and it is fine. Let me just point this out. When I have two 27 inch displays, which is a rather common case with many people, you end up having around 49, almost 50 inches in diagonal. So having a 43 inch single display, it's not that much of a uh, big of a deal. In fact, you get more real estate on the top and the bottom. A lot of people are scared because when they see this, this massive thing, they're like, oh, this is way too big. Maybe that's not for me. Maybe that's for professionals or maybe that's for people that do video editing or photography or I don't know. This screen can fit any one of you that enjoys casual gaming, that likes working on a big display, that has eye problems because you don't have to really stare at it because with the scaling options of uh, Mac and PC, you can have crisp, easy read font. And it's pretty much for everybody that has dual setup and wants to replace it. By the way, this middle bezel thing, awesome when you don't have it. The build quality is top notch. I like the design of the uh, 27 inch displays, but I'm sure that they couldn't fit it within this price range with this one. The bezels are also rather thin. The monitor is heavy, keep in mind. And it's good to have a bigger desk. Actually deeper, if it's deeper, then it's better because you can sit back a little bit further and still have your uh, mouse and keyboard in front of you. Now, a few questions I couldn't find an answer for when I was purchasing it. One of them was, can I use my 2016 MacBook Pro with touch bar, having the USB type C cable plugged in and charging it at the same time? After a bit of a confusion, it turns out the USB type C cable does not charge the MacBook Pro that I have. I have the 15 inch version with the touch bar. And initially when I plugged it in, it was displaying that it's not charging. Then when the MacBook Pro was fully charged, it was saying MacBook Pro is charged and it was giving me that symbol on the battery as if everything is okay and it's charging, but it's not. So build quality is good. Is it good for gaming? I am not a big gamer. Actually, I have a PS4 that is uh, dusting in the other room. But if you're a casual gamer uh, or if you like old school games like me, it's perfect. It's not a hardcore gaming monitor because of the refresh rate, but for everybody else, having this much of real estate in front of you, it's very immersive. It gives you like an IMAX for gaming at home kind of thing. It's pretty good. So is it good for productivity? In fact, it is awesome for productivity, especially if you're doing YouTube videos or any other uh, video editing work, then you will definitely appreciate the sheer size of this thing because you can have your timeline stretched all throughout your desk. 
you can see your screen and it's not covering anything. You can see it one on one and see all the little imperfections or if you're out of focus or something. If you're doing photo editing as well. One thing you have to get used to is some movement in your neck, which is totally fine because people say that you have to be moving if you're working in front of the computer so that you have your uh, you know, blood flow going through your body, which is great. You don't have to worry about that as well. Now, some downsides of this display are the lack of HDR support and some people are complaining that we have only one year of warranty. One thing that I didn't have in the box is a USB Type-C cable, which I'm not sure if I was the only case that I didn't have such cable included, but keep in mind that you might have to purchase such cable uh, for you to uh, plug into your laptop. So, how big is too big? Well, we're still at the point where bigger is better. I hope you enjoyed this video. This is E, over and out. Thank you.